Hello and welcome to my e-lesson and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can go ahead and create such animations in PowerPoint without spending a penny any software other than the trusted Microsoft Office that you have. This is being done in PowerPoint and this is usually done using a software called Videoscribe but that's a paid stuff. And in this video, I'm teaching you how you can do it for free. See, we have animated a telephone, a house. It's very, very easy to do. Let me show you immediately how this can be done. All right. So this is a PowerPoint which I'm using. Now, the first thing that you need to do is, is to import an image which you need to animate. All right. Now we have to take care that the kind of image that you can animate are WMF images, all right? WMF images. I'll tell you from where you can download such images and the link is mentioned in the below, all right? So now let me show you how I did it. So for that, I'll open up a new slide, click on insert, click on a image, say of a house. Okay, click on insert. Now these are WMF files. All right, I'll tell you how you can download them. The link is also mentioned, like I said, in the description below, because only then would we be able to do what we intend to do right now. So once you've imported your image, you do a right click and go to grouping and click on ungroup. Message from Microsoft saying that this is not a group or picture, but you, do you want to proceed? I would say yes. So it, it has got ungrouped. Now you do a right click again, go to ungroup again and ungroup it again. Now you see that this image has been broken down into all of its elements. You left click outside the image, left click inside the image once again. All right. Now you'll see this outer line. Just press delete. So now this was the holding pattern that was holding all these groups together. So I have removed that. Now I'll click anywhere in the image and or I'll select it like this. All right. And go to animations and say I will give it an effect of say fly in. All right. And I'll go to effect and they will float down. And the first one I will choose on click. The others I will select them. All right, like this. Do a right click and we'll start after previous. And I'll give it a small time, say 0010. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And now I'll do a preview. This is nice. So these are floating down. You can change the animation also. So I'll just select it. And from here, I'll choose another animation. Say like, let it be up here. All right. I'll change the timing again. You have to change the timing. All right. And do a right click over here. To ensure that this is start after previous and then preview. See? you are able to create a beautiful effect. So this is how you animate in images. You have to make sure that you are importing only WMF images and be sure if they are black and white or clip or something that look like more like clip arts, then the effect gets more realistic and gives you more impact. All right. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please click on the like button. If you have any question, Please mention it in the comments and I'll try to answer it and do subscribe to the channel that will keep me motivated for making new videos for you and would also let you know that whenever there is a new video, YouTube would inform you. So hope you like this video. See you in the next video.